Bigger is better. That's the logic our species seems to function on. From the Saudi royal family and their kilometer high kingdom tower to China trying to build a dam so big it will literally slow the rotation of the earth. But it's one thing to dream big and quite another to invest in superstructures so massive they defy all sense, logic, and reason. Here are projects even less practical that they haven't quite given up on yet. Let's see them all. Don't miss the last one, it might shock you. Number 10. The Chinese Super City Bigger Than Many Countries With a land surface area of 790 square kilometers or 305 square miles, and a metropolitan area population of over 20 million, New York is considered one of the largest cities on Earth. Jing Jinji in China laughs in the face of such paltry numbers. A planned project to link Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei, Jing Jinji is a play on their Chinese names, into one giant megacity. It would house approximately 130 million people and be bigger than nearly half the world's country's individual population. Everything about the project is enormous, at an estimated size of 212,000 square kilometers or 82,000 square miles. Jing Jinji will be about the size of Kansas, or to put it another way, it will cover a larger surface area and house more people than Austria and Greece combined. It will also require an unprecedented amount of planning. President Xi Jinping has declared that each city within Jing Jinji will have a special role, with Beijing becoming its cultural and tech district, while Tianjin will be devoted to manufacturing. Hebei will hoover up the remaining smaller industries. High-speed rail networks are already being built to link each of these parts of the super city in under an hour. Although it sounds like science fiction, Jing Jinji is well on its way to becoming reality. Work started in 2013. The high-speed railway should already be in place. How far this behemoth will grow beyond that point is anybody's guess. Number 9. The San Francisco Los Angeles Hyperloop Before he became famous for trying to single-handedly conquer space, billionaire CEO Elon Musk was making waves with his proposal for a Hyperloop a system of pressurized tubes that would propel commuters between San Francisco and Los Angeles at super high speeds. The idea was initially dismissed as impossible. Reality would beg to differ. In May 2015, a California transportation company received the go-ahead to start building the world's first Hyperloop test track. Although it's in its early days yet, the goal is absolutely to get a track installed between the two cities in the near future. The company has already reached a deal with landowners along Interstate 5 to start construction and successful tests could result in the thing actually being built. That would revolutionize travel. Moving at just under the speed of sound, the Hyperloop would be able to get you from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 35 minutes. For our European viewers, that's like getting from Prague to Strasbourg in less time than your lunch normally takes. Construction on the test track began in 2016. If it receives the go-ahead, the LASF Hyperloop could be ready by as early as 2025. Number 8. Nicaragua's Continent Slicing Canal At 77 kilometers or 48 miles long, the Panama Canal remains one of the greatest engineering feats of all time. Yet the continent-cutting canal could be about to lose its crown. In 2014, work began to build a canal three times longer than Panama's and over twice as deep. Costing around $50 billion, the project would see workers construct a waterway that would slice Nicaragua in half. The brainchild of Chinese telecom billionaire Wong Jing. The Nicaragua Canal would require the removal of more than 4.5 billion cubic meters of Earth. As The Guardian put it, that's enough to bury the entire island of Manhattan up to 21 floors of the Empire State Building. It will also completely upend the Central American nation's ecosystem. Insane as this is, there's another even crazier aspect to the canal. No one wants it. The Chinese government is worried it will strain relations with the US. Nicaraguans are worried it will destroy their country. And shipping companies are worried it'll be ill-suited to their needs. Yet, it's going ahead. The most optimistic projections claim the first ship could cross the canal by 2025. 
Number 7. Tunisia's Gigantic Solar Farm The amount of energy of sun pumps into the Sahara is beyond comprehension. Harnessing a mere 0.3% of it would be enough to power Europe for an entire year. Energy company NeurPower is suggesting we do just that. In a proposal put forward at the end of 2014, they outlined plans to build a 100 square meter or 40 square mile solar farm in Tunisia by 2018. The plan involves scattering thousands of computer-controlled solar cells across an area of land roughly three times the size of Macau. These cells would then be used to superheat a central tower, creating steam that would spin a turbine, generating electricity. This would then be run through a 450-kilometer or 280-mile underwater cable to a substation in Italy, and from there, away into Europe. According to the independent newspaper, the farm could power up to 2.5 million homes in Britain alone. Although it sounds like a fantasy tale, the plan is already underway. The British government has expressed interest and NeuroPower is hoping to get more countries on board. However, with the security situation in Tunisia being what it is, it could be a while yet before construction actually begins. Number 6. The Netherlands Artificial Mountain With its liberal sex and drug laws, long in life expectancy, and excellent beer, it can be tempting to think the Netherlands has it all. Dutch journalist Thies Zonevold disagrees. In 2011, he declared the one thing his low-lying country needed was a mountain. I became the project manager of the building of the construction of an artificial mountain. And he was going to make it his life's mission to ensure it got one. It helped that the Netherlands is no stranger to absurd engineering projects. The province of Flevoland near Amsterdam was created in 1932, when Cornelius Lely drained part of a large body of water, expanding the country by several thousand square kilometers, compared to this other insane land reclamation projects previously undertaken by the Dutch. A mountain would be easy, although it was proposed mainly as a joke. Zenovald's idea caught the public's imagination, so much so that the journalists decided to really do it. While construction has yet to start, Zenovald is committed fully to the project. His official website for the mountain claims his team has spoken with thousands of companies, recruited financiers, and found planning permission. They say that they even came close to building a prototype earlier this year. He maintains that his mountain will be built sometime in the decade. Number 5. Saudi Arabia's Monster Hotels at Mecca For the last few years, Saudi Arabia has been busy turning the ancient city of Mecca into the Las Vegas of the Middle East. The pinnacle of this transformation may well be the upcoming Abraj Kudai, technically a luxury five-star hotel that will loom over the holy city. The Abraj Kudai is so big that it more resembles a vertical city-state, where every citizen will be guaranteed a millionaire. It will stand 45 stories tall, and everything about the hotel screams obscene wealth. The top floor will house one of the largest Islamic domes in the world, surrounded by four helipads for the ultra-rich to land on. At least five floors will be reserved for the exclusive use of the al Saad royal family. The rest of the building, meanwhile, will contain around 10,000 bedrooms and over 70 high-class restaurants. Supposedly designed to resemble a traditional desert fortress, this monster of a building will cost at least 2.3 billion pounds. Although the Arab Kudai will be the biggest hotel in the world when it opened in 2017, it pales in comparison to other Mecca projects. A collection of gigantic hotels in the west of the city known as the Jabal Omar development is intended to house 100,000 pilgrims, while the Grand Mosque is to be upgraded to house 7 million people at any one time. Ironically, this would stretch so far back that many worshippers wouldn't even be able to see the Kaaba they'd come all this way to worship. Number 4. China's Vertical Mega City Now let's set our sights beyond that one large hotel. Imagine standing at the base of a building so massive, so self-contained, and so teeming with life that it truly qualified as a city. Right now, preparations are underway for constructing a sci-fi marvel in the Chinese city of Shenzhen, a booming metropolis on the Pearl River Delta. Known as the Cloud Citizen, the finished building will comprise three interlocking towers, the tallest only a few hundred feet shorter than Dubai's monstrous Burj Khalifa at around 2 square kilometers or 1 square mile. Its surface area would be only slightly smaller than all of Monaco, but it's what's inside that would really shake up urban design, rather than just being a super massive office block. 
Cloud Citizen is designed to operate as a self-contained city within a city. Alongside homes and offices, the superstructure would contain farms, parkland, food production centers, and the means to harvest rainwater. It would also power itself using a combination of wind, solar, and algae, effectively allowing it to exist separately from Shenzhen proper. Impressively, for such an urban building, the focus would be on green spaces and parkland, with commuters encouraged to walk to work through high-altitude sky parks. Although there are no concrete plans to start construction yet, Cloud Citizen is being taken seriously by the local government. It recently won a city-sponsored design competition, and officials are taking an interest in seeing the project realized. Number 3. India's Gigantic Smart Cities It sounds like a Silicon Valley dream, a city where everything is connected to the internet, and a central command center digitally links every citizen. Yet this idle daydream may soon be a reality, and not in California, known as Deloria. It's one of the Indian government's enormous new infrastructure projects that could be ready within a decade. Part of the phenomenally ambitious Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, a $90 billion scheme to link the two most important cities in the subcontinent. Deloria would be the jewel of the project's crown. Built from scratch on reclaimed land, it would be big, powerful, and stunningly high-tech. Digital crowd and traffic control would aim for no jams, no pollution, no mobs of people lining up at terminals, no dirt, and no littering. Every house would be wired up to the internet, a stunning achievement in a country where, in 2013, only 3% of homes had any internet access. Deloria's other draw is its size, designed to cope with India's ever-expanding population. The city would be twice as big as Mumbai, or roughly three times the size of Malta. Even more impressively, Deloria is just the tip of the iceberg. If the project comes off and the government is pushing ahead, despite serious setbacks, there are plans to build another 23 smart cities just as impressive across the region. Number 2. Azerbaijan's Artificial Archipelago In China and India, they build new super cities. In the Netherlands, they build new mountains. In Azerbaijan, they build new countries. In the waters off the coast of Baku on the Caspian Sea, whole mountains worth of rocks are being poured in to create a new archipelago, known as the Khazar Islands. The new land will likely be a country within its own right, consisting of 55 separate islands. The archipelago will have its own airport, yacht club, Formula One track, and an 800,000 strong population crammed into its thousands of apartment blocks. Most impressive still, the largest island will also be home to the Azerbaijan Tower, predicted to be possibly the tallest building on Earth. In 2013, it was estimated to cost $100 billion, significantly higher than the country's entire GDP. The idea came to billionaire businessman Ibrahim Ibrahimov on a flight back from Dubai in 2010. Lacking a notebook, he drew his designs on some tissue paper and told architects to build the exactly as he'd drawn them. Crazily enough, they agreed. At the time of writing, the Khazar Islands were well underway, with at least one mountain already leveled to provide rocks for their foundations. Number 1. China's New Silk Road Stretching from Venice in Europe all the way through Central Asia to the furthest edges of China, the Silk Road was once the greatest trading route on Earth. Unimaginable sums of money moved along its pathways, along with refugees, religions, and Eastern culture. In just a few short years, they might do so again. The Chinese government is determined to bring the Silk Road back into the 21st century. Known affectionately as the One Belt, One Road Plan, the idea is to combine a new overland trading route with an expensive new maritime one. Through roads, railways, and pipelines, when finished, the road will give China an unbreakable corridor of power and influence stretching all the way from its central city, Xi'an, to Moscow and Rotterdam. That's over 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles of Chinese dominance, a significantly longer distance than New York to Buenos Aires. But the project wouldn't stop there aside from linking China, India, and Russia together into the most important economic corridor on Earth. The other half of the plan would see coastal projects and ports connect China with the rest of Asia and even East Africa. In effect, it would spread Chinese influence out across half the modern world. It's been described as a bigger investment than the Marshall Plan, and the effects would be world-changing. The craziest part? The monster project could be well underway by 2023. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about futuristic cities that will be built around the world in 2023. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss our amazing videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.